Welcome back to Co-op Comrades. I'm Silferno, and the Quake has almost gotten the power supply for his, or for the computer he's using for the game, and so that we can record and whatnot more progression. In the meantime, however, we owe some people some uh, nicknamed pals. We've got a list of 12, but one of them has requested a uh, chili, Two. which we don't personal or don't per uh, which we don't have right now. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, but while we don't have a chillet, we do have quite a few pals, but, which uh, the quake, do you remember are there any pals that you're specifically going to be having in your party for quite a while? The um, Dinosaur, I think its name was. The, the yeah, grass, the flower grass dragon grass. guy. Yeah. Him. Uh, I haven't really decided on anyone else for like permanent position because I I'm still like discovering pals and figuring stuff out. Yeah. Um, the two I think I'm mainly going to keep on the team, like, for sure, for the next bit, is the Lift Monk, because of the machine gun thing, and the Bird, the Nightwing. Uh, I was, I'll say that I'd keep the Nightwing on my thing, just to taxi. Okay, um... One of the things that, uh, one of the ideas I had that I did want to bring, or like try, which, um, so for anyone watching who isn't familiar with the game's Discord, there's a community manager guy there who, I have no idea how he manages to be so active, but leading up to the launch, on Steam and Xbox, he managed just so much engagement on the Discord, answering questions, interacting with everyone, that I, or one of the things that I brought up with him was the idea of naming one of our pals after him. And I think I figured out which one I want to name after him, which, since it will be on the uh, team for a while yet, and because I think it'd be kind of funny. <laughs> um, first guy I'm gonna name is gonna be named after the amazing community manager. Wow, he is very hungry. Supposedly. No, he's full. What? what? Okay. Oh, I guess more food means... The food bars might mean how much food you get from them. That's that's funny. That's kind of funny. I, I thought that the little food down in the bottom right meant how much... Um, um, how much sanity they have left before you need to feed them again. No, no. Uh, I thought the food bar in the bottom right was how much they needed to eat, like if their food lit up food things were lower, they needed food, but no, it, like the Lift Monk has a one food thing, it probably means how much food you get from this particular pal. <laughs> uh -huh. But, one person in the comments brought up that they didn't know how to nickname their guys, and that would be right here. You go onto the party page, you get to the guy and you hit edit. So first on the list is the wonderful community manager Bucky. Bucky if you actually do manage to see this I, I, I know you wanted one specific pal but you yourself said that he wasn't in the game yet so like I don't know what to do with that. I'll give you a Gatling squirrel. <laughs> At, uh, but yeah my little murder boy. Little murder boy Bucky. One of the most helpful pals I imagine I'll have since Bucky is quite good at his job. This little guy has like, he literally has five different skills. 
I, I think it fits. But the next one we have up is my bird. We got O Orion, Sunnyside Pup, Kawaii Pup. <laughs> someone or someone has a really good username for one of the cativas that work the base. We got Jirachi Ramen. Really great name. Uh, Blue mm -hmm. Bell Blue wants to chill it. Money Ninja. That I think I have. I think I know of a, at least a couple pals. I I'd like to name put up put that one on. Uh, White Crowization wants a Tombat named Michael Jackson rather than after their username. Which, that's another pal we don't currently have, but can get easily. Pulse Charge. Definitely got to put that in a, on an electric pal. C Chart. Like, as in the letter C, Chart. Probably fitting for a water pal. Ray... Yeah. Ray Osborne. Nicholas... Nick, Nicholas... Call ER and Cat DZ. Ooh, getting dark. Any of those names pop out at you for um for specific pals? Mm. Not specifically, because. I mean, there's a few that I've seen, like, got on the Xbox version, but we're not going to be getting to those areas. For a while yet. For a while yet. Um, yeah, because, like, a lot of them I would name for, like, the more advanced pals that I've seen, not the beginning ones. Well, I think I'm going to grab Jirachi Ramen for my bird. We don't have, there's like no cooking pals, so as far as I'm aware, so. Actually, um, your fire pals help with cooking. Yeah, but I mean like chef pals. Ah. Uh. Um. What do we got in the box? I have all the pals that were working out of the thing currently, and I can put them all back to work. Got three Cativa out, and a couple penguins, so I think I'm going to go with O. Orion for the Gummos, since he looks kind of like an onion, and Orion sounds kind of like onion, so... I'm nope. pretty sure on the Steam version, I've already caught an electric pal. Neat. I don't have access to it, though. Because you got to be able to get into the game. Mm-hmm. It's either o, o, o Orion or O Orion. Not entirely sure, but either way, he was the first comment on our Pal World videos, and if at some point you want your name switched, uh, let us know. Maybe we can figure something out for that. But, happy to say that he's uh, one of the workers in the base. Right there. Next up, we got Sunnyside Pup. I think, while it's not exactly a canine, I think going with the um, fox would be a good call for Sunnyside Pup, since Sun and Pup, you know? Sure. Sunnyside Pup. That's actually... Sunnyside Pup actually sounds like if you were to make a pal that's like a egg dog. 
That would fit perfectly. We got yeah. the person who wants a cativa, named after them. That's level 16, level 9, 9, and... Let's go with the... <laughs> One of our cativa has work slave as a skill. Yeah. But another one has mine form in tier three, so I think I'm gonna go with that one. Now, I didn't say it earlier, but the name is Kawaii Baka AI. Or I. Not entirely sure if it's AI or just I. Kawaii Baka I. Heck of a name, and 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 to stick it on a pink cat, that that fits pretty good. Good choice. There's Money Ninja. Don't got any specific dark guys working at the moment that I'd love to slap that one on. A cremis. Some of the cremis would uh, be adorable. Well, I know it's basically an Eevee rip, like, design-wise, it is very hard not to... It Like, you can't say that the, that cremis isn't adorable. Or cremis. Yeah. Money Ninja, though. Oh! Oh, I got an idea! We can name the PAL Merchant Money Ninja. Yeah. And I'm going to add in parentheses PAL Trade after that so that we know. Okay. The traveling merchant that sells items wears red. Yep. And the, and the other one is blue. blue. But I'm not going to yeah. try and tell you that I'm going to remember that. <laughs> so we got three. No, we got four workers named. Uh, next up, we got White Crow. Right. They wanted a Tombat named Michael Jackson. So can't do that yet. But Pulse Charge. Don't got an electric guy yet. So I think we're going to hold off on that. Sea chart. One of the penguins I can name. Name one of the penguins after sea chart. Sea chart, you got your name. Ray Osborne. Huh. How about the deer? The tree killer deer. Uh, isn't that Ray a dark? Oz no, the, it's a neutral type. It, the purple deer guy? Mm-hmm. So yeah, Ray Osborne. Got a fancy excessively fancy deer named after you. Next up is Nicholas Collier. Thinking one of the pe or the other penguin we got would be good. Not, it might be Nicholas. If if any if I'm name saying any of these names wrong, and and you got like all you guys try and try and tell me how to say them correctly in, in the comments like like I I don't, I don't want to do your names to disjustice like that. And finally, Cat DZ definitely going to be one of the Cativas. 
think I'm gonna go with the one with Zen Mind, which uh, I actually know. I know the person, so this is kind of ironic. <laughs> uh, I, I hope they enjoy that. Cat DZ. There you go. Got an adorable cat named after you, who is Zen minded. 10% increase to neutral attack. And, uh, yeah, aside from the Chillet and the Tombat, that's, uh, that's everybody. Hopefully the chests I put down are all functioning now that I've put everybody back to work. Yeah, they're not. Oh well. Um. Do is there any chance I can get a uh, um chill it or a tom bat really quick? Uh, there's a boss one in this tutorial uh, uh, area that you can catch. Of which? Kill it. And for the Tombats, you gotta go out and hunt them at night. Because they only okay. come out at night. Um, it's at the map. Okay, I see the Chillet guy. And he should, the boss should have, like, other Chillets there for him, right? Like, around him, right? No, it's different water-type Pokemon, uh, um, pals. Oh. <laughs> That's going to be hard not to do, isn't it? Yeah. Well. Well, Blue Bell Blue. Uh, t I, t I hope you enjoy my attempt at getting you this chillet. Make uh, sure you have some Mega Spears before you attempt, just to be safe. Yeah, that's a good call. Um... So yeah, I, uh, I'll pause the recording here so that we can get to that chill it for you. And uh, yeah, see you once I'm over there. And we uh, we got to the chill it. One thing I gotta make sure to do is to have the better, pa the Mega Pal Spheres ready. And uh, Power, or I should probably check my weapons. Got that fine. It's, looks like it's loaded, so that's good. Um. Yeah, I guess we head in there. And in the face. Fuck. This thing was so weak! You kill it? What? In three hits! How, how, how... Think you can look up how soon they respawn? Well, that's not intentional. If I knew it was that weak, I would've just chucked the sphere! <laughs> I'm less afraid of bosses now, so that's good. What did I get for that? Uh, not a lot. Just fancy, uh, fancy pelts. I did get more ancient parts though, so that's good. Uh, well. Oh, hey, a chest. We'll About we'll try that again later. In, About an hour of. It of real time needs to pass in game following an encounter. What? Yeah. Is there any kind of setting I can mess with for that? And this timer is paused if you save and quit out of your world. So oh, continue that's terrible. working towards other goals in the meantime. Uh, well, I guess it's the Tombat that's next. Wish I would have known it was that weak. I've been I was like terrified of that thing. It's level eleven, I think. 
Yeah, I didn't notice that. I thought, like, boss levels would be different. Not really. That That's good to know. Uh, uh, see actually, you um, the only time it's really different is when you enter a syndicate tower. Okay, well, uh, see you when we fight the Tombat. And we are finally at the Tombat. While the Chillet wasn't exactly a success, which... I imagine a lot of people who really love that thing are going to be unhappy with me. Um, let's hope that this is a bit easier to uh, do. And I'm being very careful with what weapon I use this time. Dang it! Why did that have to get like a crit? Did you accidentally? Others? Yes! Yes I did! You just don't know how to hold back, do you? I used the bow, not the crossbow this time! It just hit it in the face! <laughs> Next Tombat, I guess. See you when I get there. Tombat attempt number two. No pal. Keeping my distance so my bow doesn't do ridiculous damage. Great. Now, nah, that- no, 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 no. That was the wrong button. I missed. There we go. 100% chance I got the Tombat. Huh. That was not as easy. That was. That wasn't as easy as I was hoping it would be. Well, yeah. see you back in base where I can name it. And back at base. And I happened to actually manage to get a, uh,. Second Tombat. We got one that has Stronghold Strategist, level 9, and the other one that has Power of Gaia and Stronghold Strategist. Poison Blast, Air Cannon, and an Empty Slot. Same thing for this guy. So, uh... Yeah, I guess I'll name the slightly better one instead of the first. We got... yeah. White Croization wants this guy named Michael Jackson because in their comment they told me that they have a Tombat that does a bunch of working which this guy has mining so level 2 so that's pretty good but they have a Tombat in their base who continually walks backwards so they named theirs Michael Jackson and I imagine they're hoping to see ours named the same and working around everywhere sometimes. White Croization, your pal has been named. So it's got level 2 for um, gathering, mining, and I think that's hauling. Hmm. The cats have level 1 of those three things, but they also have handicraft. Try, I'm just dealing with a raid real quick. Oh, uh, there's a raid happening on the base? Yep. Gotta take care of, though. Next.
Well, that's interesting. I tossed the uh, deer at um, the food container, and it's above the, like, it's on the second floor eating instead. Yeah. I'm guessing the uh, defeated mark will disappear from the chillet boss once it respawns. Yep. By the way, you know how we had like a thousand three hundred stone? Yeah. I only used the three hundred for the house. We only got down for a brief amount of time to like nine hundred. Hmm. Also, we have four thousand or four hundred of the, uh, Paldium. Got any ideas for what I should do with time, or to kill time? Or should I just left, leave things running and call you back in like 40 minutes? Um. Ah, crap. I am still recording. Why am I still recording? I'm pretty sure I hit the pause. I'll have to worry about that later. While we did not, in fact, wait for the chillet to respawn, one thing we realized is that since we are still have pulse charge, as someone we're waiting on to give their pal uh, or give a pal their name to, um, we figure we can grab chill, like keep an eye on the chillet boss, and the moment we see it respawn, we'll drop what we're doing and run on over there and get that thing so that. Our, or the great commenter, Blue Bell Blue, can get the, uh, get his name on it, pal. So, Pulse Charge and Blue Bell Blue, we hope to see, like, if you get, guys are watching the video, we hope to see you popping in in the future so you can see when we get a pal named after you. And one thing I learned is that there's a way to catch tower bosses, so, Pulse Charge. You very well, very well may end up with the first tower boss as uh, as the guy we name after you. <laughs> oh, you want to do the glitch to catch the tower boss? So long as it doesn't ruin game progression, yes. I would very much like to have a tower boss. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks you got thank you guys for watching. Uh, Please like and comment and subscribe. If you comment, you get a pal named after you, as you can clearly see. And you can have a specific one listed, which uh, we'll do our best to get. Um, if you guys want some good energy stuff to make, or good tasting energy stuff to mix in with water, or a really cool cup, um, check out the our uh, sponsors. Swift Lifestyles and um, uh, W Energy, and look down in the description below for a uh, or to get a code for a certain amount. Or what was the amount off that we got? 
All right, you kind of butchered that outro. Uh, yeah, I'd like but to thank our sponsors, Dubby Energy and Swift Energy, for sponsoring our channel. Uh, use the promo code Co-op Comrades to get ten percent off on Dubby Energy and twenty five percent off at Swift Energy. And Dubby Energy has a really cool cup you guys should get, especially if you're a fan of Power World because it's got a dragon on it. <laughs> uh yeah. See you guys in the next episode. Bye. Yep.